guys welcome back to my channel my name is Ali if you're new to my channel and welcome to video with the purpose so this week you are getting an extra video because I got my boxy charm in on the 13th well the day before yesterday which I think was the 13th I'm filming this on Friday it's also gonna go up today late but it will be up today so before we start what's on my lips is Revlon lip liner and nude meat um Matt meet Matt Hughes in Sincere. And then my iconic London lip gloss in Nearly Nude. And then a little bit of Bare Minerals liquid lipstick in Weekend. Trying to go ahead and get into the box. I feel like, not that I don't like my box, because now that I've used the products, I kind of really like my box. But at first, when I first seen it, I felt like the new, like since they were charging, they were going up on the price and you're going to be getting worth like you're going to be getting more money's worth in your box like I felt like it was hyped up I also just wanted the lily lashes but I didn't get them and so I guess like I was just kind of let down because I felt like it was so hyped up but I mean it's not a terrible box but it also I feel like my expectations were not met because it was so hyped up if that makes sense so we are going to go ahead and get into the box and the first thing right here are the New boxy charm brushes are the new boxy charm brushes. They just look like this. So you would think that the bigger king, you would think that the bigger one would be the foundation brush, but it's actually the smaller one. And this one is for powder. And I did use both of these, and you guys will see like either an overlay or a side by side of these brushes. They're not bad. I'm just not someone who usually puts on my foundation with brushes. And so, but I did use it with the stick foundation and it did blend it out pretty good. I just went over it with a sponge because I just wanted the effect of a sponge at the end. Because like I said, I'm not, my skin is so dry that I just typically don't like to use brushes. But these brushes, and this is the two-piece brush set, brush set. It says create your favorite looks within a totally, in a total luxury, What? start over create your favorite looks in total luxury with our first ever boxycharm branded brush set the large multi pout which is this one the large multi-purpose powder brush is perfect for liquids creams powders or mineral products and the foundation brush which is this one is an oval base to help with precise foundation placement and seamless blending these ultra soft brushes and handcrafted synthetic are handcrafted hand crafted synthetic and cruelty free retails for $35 the next thing I got in here are these um I don't know how to pronounce this Vitamasles? I don't know like this is the brand down here I don't know how to pronounce that but I got these mask ones for morning ones for evening so one's a brighten and protect and then the evening one is repair and relax and so what these say is the morning mask, a cooling eye mask to brighten and depuff infused with anti-pollution and anti-blue light protections. This eye mask is ideal for those on the go. Evening mask, an ultra relaxing eye mask that is made that is made to aid in repairing the delicate eye area and the smooth and to smooth fine lines. Made with centella and hyaluronic acid, this mask is a perfect companion to your nightly routine. I wish I would have remembered that these were in here, but I think I'm also trading my sister. But now that I've read about them, I kind of want to keep them. But these are retail for $12. And, yeah, they sound intriguing. I wish I would have known I would have used these and not offered to trade them. But, yeah, there's that. Like I said, I wasn't really excited about my box. But now that I'm reading about the mask, I'm like, okay, then. <laughs> okay, so the next thing I have in here is this is this right here and this is the juice bitty what this is the juice beauty stem cellular anti-wrinkle eye treatment and you guys will see me apply this because i have been using it for the past two nights today would be my third day using it and so this is just what it looks like and then whenever you remove the cap it just looks like this with the applicator and you just apply it to your eyes and the description for this is a proprietary blend of fruits stem cells and vitamin C infused into organic antioxidant rich botanical juices work to re work to reduce the appearance of fine lines around the eyes and to minimize the appearance of dark circles 
and this retails for $50. And I do, whenever, on the directions, it says to apply it all around your eyes. So I do go all the way underneath and on top. Um, with the applicator, I'll just apply it that way. And then I will go in and then just tap it in with my finger. Because that, once again, that's what the instructions tell you to do. Okay, and then the next thing that I have in here is this Becca highlighter. And I got mine in the shade, what is it, Vanilla Quartz. Now, when I first looked at this, I thought it was going to be way too light, but I have it on today, and it's actually really not. But I also feel like it's not really there at this point anymore. So, I don't know, but, I mean, I'm going to keep it because I thought it was going to be too light, but it's not. I do have it on the inner corners, which is what you can see right there. So, it comes off a lot more glow gold than in the actual pan. So, that's just a swatch right there. So, yeah. It's actually really pretty, and I did end up liking it, but like I said, you can't really see it on the tops of my cheeks anymore, like the usual places that I highlight. Sorry. My little edge stuff was not put into my hair, right? I had a little blob. So, yeah, um, like I said, I can't really tell, like, the places where I highlighted, like, above my brow, down my nose, and on my lip, and right here. Like, I can barely see it, but it's not as intense but as, say, like, my Wet n Wild highlighter. And this retails for $38. And the description is an award-winning highlighting powder with an ultra buttery texture that melts into the skin for the ultimate high impact glow. Okay. And then the last thing, which is what I was really most excited about, which um, I'm pretty sure every like base box person got, and that is the Dominique Cosmetics Hey, Dominique's Cosmetics Celestial Thunder. And I will put a side by side of some swatches of this because I did swatch it as soon as I got the box in. And this is just what the palette looks like. I'm wearing um, Lunar Eclipse as my transition color. And then my second trans or my second crease color is Lucid Dreams. And then I did go in with Mystic Ice. And then all over my lid, I have Eternal Light. Um, the more the look came together, the more I liked it. I was don't think I would have used the blue at the very bottom. Like, I feel like this eye is much more blended than this eye. And I was really wanting the blue to stand out, but I should have just used the blue on its own if I wanted it to do that. Because as soon as I started blending up into the pink, obviously it turned purple. And then with the way that I applied it, like, you can't really see it. Not that I don't like the eye look. Not that they don't blend well, because obviously they blend great. If, you, if it was able to turn into purple, and then it goes into pink, and then it goes into the orange. And there's not really any harsh lines except of course like where I cut my crease but I don't have any complaints about this palette so far I'm excited to keep playing with it and this was by far like my most favorite thing in the palette and then you get a pretty good sized mirror the pans are super huge and then you get three shimmers and five mattes and so the, this retail that eyeshadow palette retails for $35 and the description is Celestial Thunder is an explosion of vivid pigments, eyeshadows, and glittery foils with eight uniquely formulated shades for a creative, colorful eye look or a simple pop of electric color. These vibrantly made shades tell a cosmic story to bring the universe to life. I really like that palette. I'm really excited that I got this palette. And then I just love how the names like, I mean obviously, like, but like the names really go with the Eternal Light, Fireball, Black Matter, Zero Gravity, Lucid Dreams storm dust lunar eclipse and mystic ice like i like it a lot <laughs> okay you guys so that was every but everything in my november boxy charm now the price of the box has gone up to 25 dollars. it charges total um like that your card will be charged is 27 dollars and so, like I said, I really like the box. I don't have any really complaints about the box. I just, the only thing that I really, really would have just switched out and not really wanted are these brushes. Because, like I said, this applied a blush nicely, but I usually like a more fluffier butt brush. So, it says you can use this with mineral powders, but I don't really, the only mineral, like, the only loose powder that I kind of use are setting powders. And I like to apply those with a sponge. Like, I'm really just a sponge girl. And with bronzers and blushes, like, I like more fluffier brushes. And so, yeah, other than that, um, I believe the overall value of the box was 170 if I'm not mistaken. Of course, I will put the correct price on the screen of what the total value was. But other than that, you guys, I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. I love you guys, but always remember that Jesus loves you more. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye, guys. Mwah.